Hello everyone, welcome to this new video and in today's video we will actually not be using Unreal Engine 5. This is mainly a video for those who are making a VHS project and want their VHS game to actually sound like a VHS game. So a lot of people have been asking me how I created the VHS sound in the VHS project 2.0. Since I am using VHS sounds in the VHS project, people have been asking how I created those sounds because actually I am using a audio software that actually makes a just regular sound actually sound like it's coming out of a VHS tape. And I've also seen that a lot of new VHS games actually have original sounds, so the uh, game looks like a VHS game, but the sound just sounds like a regular game, like a you're just uh, shooting a, a film from your camera. And of course that breaks the VHS uh, immersion since you know a VHS effect also has to get the VHS sound So this is for you guys who are actually making a VHS game and I will show you how I created the VHS uh, sound effects in my project uh, when creating the VHS project So yeah, let's uh, start with the video So what we'll do first is to actually search for audacity and Audacity is a audio software where you can actually edit sounds and make them go slower, pitch, and you know, everything like that. So we need a audio software to actually create the VHS sound. So just go into your preferred browser and then just search for Audacity right here. Then go into this uh, website right here. And then just click on the download Audacity and then just save and then just go ahead and actually do the process of uh, setting it up once you have installed Audacity you want to just open it up so just search for it or it's just open up automatically so Audacity right here and then it will actually open up and then this is actually how Audacity looks like. So as you can see we have a track and this is actually where the audio will go. And we have all of these different op options right here. So we can click on the actual effect and we can create some reverb, some uh, filter curves and everything like that. But first of all we actually need to import our sound that we want to actually change. And for this video purpose I actually just downloaded a sound from freesound.org. And this is just a regular sound. Uh, and this is just a footstep sound as you can hear it just sounds regular like there's no effect right now so how can we create this audio to actually sound like a VHS like it's coming from a VHS so I will first of all just show you the uh, different settings so first of all when we want to edit this sound we actually want to double click on it so double click on this sound like that and then we want to go to effect and as you can see here we have all of these different effects right here and if and the effect that we will be focusing on is the EQ and the filters and then the filter curve EQ this is how it should look like for you it is just a straight line and and this is how it looks like and as you can see it looks very weird I don't even understand how this works but it's basically just a graph and you can set these different points so if you click uh, like right here you can see that I have created a point and I can click here as well and I can actually just change everything I can drag these points around and if I just preview the sound right now so I click on this preview button you can hear that it sounds very very uh, like the um, treble is very high uh, so I will actually show you my VHS uh, presets that I use to make the sounds because I have actually uh, saved a VHS preset that I have created myself. So you can just copy that if you want to also have the VHS sound. So I, as you see right there I have actually saved. Uh, these are my two different sounds and the VHS2 is the for the uh, VHS project 2.0 and this is for the first project. And of course the VHS project 2 is much better, so I will just go in here. And this is how my uh, graph is looking like. So if I just preview now, 
you can hear that the sound actually sounds like it's coming out from a, a VHS camera. So you can just play around with these settings and everything like that, but these are the best values if you want to get a realistic uh, VHS effect. So you can just pause the video and just set your points like uh, mine right here. And once you have done that, we was and once you have done that, we just want to apply. And as you can see, we actually applied the effect. And now it sounds like it is coming from a actual VHS camera. So yeah, that is basically how you create the VHS sound. And when exporting it, you want to make sure that it. And when exporting it, you want to make sure that it is a dot. A WAV file so you can just double click on the audio that you want to export go to file export export to computer choose the name if you want to I can just VHS tutorial and then just uh, select your preferred folder and make sure that the format is a uh, WAV right here and then just click on export and now, it's, and now, as you can see, I have this sound. And I can just drag it into Unreal Engine and start working like I usually do. So yeah, that is basically the tutorial. And you can also change the uh, reverb. So if you want it to sound like you are standing in a, a bathroom or a big church, you can go to just Delay and Reverb, click on Reverb, go to Presets and Settings, go to Factory Presets, and then just change your uh, preferred. So Large room will make it more echoey, as you can hear. So yeah, Audacity is a very good program uh, if you're making a game, uh, especially a VHS game, since you want the sound to actually sound like a VHS uh, effect. So yeah, that is uh, the tutorial. I hope you liked it, even though it wasn't in Unreal Engine 5. Uh, some people have been asking for it, so I thought that I would just make a quick tutorial. So yeah, thanks for working. So yeah, thanks for watching and make sure to check out my VHS project and it is on Fab right now uh, and also on Gumroad. Uh, so yeah, also join the Discord community. We have a big uh, audience over there. So yeah, bye.